hey everyone in this video we will try uh, we will try to understand different compression codec that is used in big data world mostly uh, to the big data files so i was giving the uh, meta interview uh, in the second round of the meta interview for the data engineering role and the interviewer was trying to uh, trying to ask me uh, to design a batch uh, batch big data pipeline system and i was really uh, i have really enjoyed that process and while discussing uh, uh, some of the uh, aspect of uh, designing the big data big data pipeline we we were discussing about uh, different file format that we can use in our uh, big data pipelines and then this discussion has gone to to, to more deep level and he was trying to under, trying to understand how much i do understand about compression codec and why these particular files like why the parquet used at this particular place why you should not use abro there why you should use orc there so he was trying to analyze that and this i i found that this understanding the compression codec is very very much important while designing a, while designing any big data pipelines and moreover when you are dealing with any uh, big data files like parquet orc or abro so we will try to understand what this compression codec means so i have also written one article on linkedin uh, about this um, codec i will uh, i will uh, uh, i will pass the link of that article in the description bo box in uh, of the of my youtube video so let's try to understand that what does this compression codec actually means so this compression codec actually means compression and decomp decompressions so uh, you can just read it here so codec is short for compressor or decompressor it refers to the software hardware or a combination of two so the first question that comes to our mind that why we actually need the compressions uh, we actually need compressions uh, at any places where we want to save the storage and we want to uh, we want to um, increase our speed and we want to reduce our storage cost so the compression is very much uh, very much necessary and there are uh, there are different compression algorithms and compression codec available which we can use uh, we, we can use to, uh, to apply to any big data files so the, i will be discussing mostly about four type uh, four type of compression codec the first is snappy second one is eljedo third is uh, G, uh, third is uh, ggip and the fourth one is bgip2 so these these four are very much important uh, uh, compression codec that is that is mostly used so but the next question that comes to our mind is that why we actually need uh, different types of compression codec so if you if you try to explain this is in very layman terms there are basically two things that that, that comes into picture while choosing any compression codec the first one the is storage and second one is the speed some compression codecs are really good for storage and some are not that great for speed while others are really great for speed when i say speed it might mean to say the processing speed but they are not that great for storage so we will look it to this picture and that this picture will uh, make more sense to us so in the snappy the speed is really good but the compression ratio is not that great in the same way the eljedo is uh, is the comp the speed is really good but the compression ratio is little low in ggip2 the compression is really high but the speed is uh, its speed is not that great same apply to bgip2 so bgip2 also has one of the i think bgip2 has the most compression ratio among all four but their speed is not that great so uh, so there is a trade up between speed and compressions the third point that comes into our mind is splitability so so we need to understand that uh, while we are working with any distributed systems we so we are we will be only opting for those file systems we, which can be splitted because uh, i have also written it here so you uh, you can just read it here 
for large file one should not use a compression format that does not support splitting the whole file since one can lose locality and make map reduce application or any other distributed computing engines like a spark very efficient so if a file is uh, really splitable it is it's very it can be uh, processed parallelly right so uh, but there are some there are uh, there are uh, things that some of the compression algorithm or some press some of the compression uh, codecs may not be uh, give, may not give us a splitty uh, splitability inherit inheritability so so like snappy snappy is not uh, uh, does not is does not give splitability but we uh, but we understand that we use the snappy when we use snappy with let any file which like json csv or text file then it is not splitable but we actually use snappy with the container based file format like um, parquet arbo orc which itself take care of splitability right so the, that's uh, that's uh, that container based file format take care of that so like uh, but uh, like the ljdo ljdo uh, ljdo ljdo sorry and the bgp2 are inherently uh, splitable and snappy and ggp uh, are not in splitably uh, not inherently uh, inherently splitable so yeah there are many other things that, uh, that takes into the concentrations so like i have already mentioned that snappy is a very fast compression codec however in terms of compression it is not very good so if if uh, uh, so, so snappy is mostly used to those places uh, where we we want balance between the speed and storage so and snappy is also one of uh, um, um, is one mo is default for most of the uh, computing in, uh, distributed computing engines L uh, the same apply for ljdo ljdo is, uh, uh, is optimized for uh, speed like snappy but unlike snappy it is uh, it, it is uh, it is inherently uh, splitable and uh, the same applies for the ljdo also it is more optimized for speed rather than storage like and the ggp2 so ggp2 is more optimized for storage it is not good for the processing its speed it is really slow and the uh, bgp2 is actually more optimized for storage and it is actually slow with respect to um, the speed so uh, that in uh, so if someone ask you in interview that which compression codec you will be trying to follow so will you be uh, just uh, using the default compression co codec that is provided to you or you will be opting to change it so you will only be opting to change uh, change the compression codec if you under if you really understand the compression codec right so so the our so questions now our question has narrowed down so we can say that if you are having any system where we are not accessing data so frequently and i say this data as a cold data means uh, if data is accessed not more often often then we we, we should opt for more storage heavy uh, compression codec like gg uh, like gg or bgp2 but let's suppose we are dealing with any real time file based systems or any batch files batch big data pipeline systems too but we here we wanted to uh, wanted to access the data more frequently then we should we uh, co i call this data as a hot uh, big data file files or uh, the data which are which are accessed more frequently so we should opt for um, we should opt for uh, compression codec like snappy or ljdo in uh, in in this type of scenario so i i hope uh, now you are able to understand when you should use which compression codec there are multiple other compression codec available you can look into the internet and you can just go to the documentations and you will able to examine there are wiki links uh, wiki links where people have written and, and they have compare with uh, compare with respect to throughput with they have compare compare with respect to compression speed they have uh, compare with the decompression speed and there are many articles available that you can follow and you will able to understand but i uh, able to understand but i hope you are you are able to get uh, you are able to get the basic idea about when you should use um, which type of compression codec and what is the basic trade off between two different uh, compression codecs i hope you are able to learn from this video and if you have learned from this video please uh, like and share this uh, share this video and subscribe to my youtube channel and also uh, i will add the, the link of this article in, in to the description box you can follow these articles and uh, you will able to uh, understand it more um, we will under, able to understand it more um, in more better way so thank you thank you uh, let's connect in the next video for
डिस्कसिंग मोर बिग डेटा रिलेटेड थिंग्स एंड डिस्कसिंग मोर इंटरव्यू एक्सपीरियंस एंड अदर थिंग्स थैंक यू